what I'm going to be doing tonight is activations and impartations. We're going to pray for the sick, but I just sense that in this conference, there are many things that are dormant spiritually that need to wake up. There are gifts of the spirit. There are investments of the spirit, hear me, that are lying low. There are giants who are just lying, moving like, like grasshoppers. And my assignment is to create that spiritual ignition. Hear me, man of God, you are greater than what you know. Hear me. There is more to you. We are like eagles, but life has forced us to live like chickens. It's time to realize your identity. It's time to flap the wings and leave that level and rise to a new and a greater horizon. This tonight is my assignment. We will pray for the sick. We will minister deliverance to the oppressed. But can I tell you, more than a healing and a miracle, I want you to believe that there is a dimension of power your destiny needs. And I want you to insist that this conference will not be over until you take your portion of that power. Hold on. How do you know you have accessed that power? Genesis chapter 1, 2, and 4. That the moment you leave this place, you begin to say certain things. And you begin to see it happen that you can go to church on sunday man of god and look at your congregation and say i come in the name of the lord i come with the investment of the holy spirit some may laugh as before except that when you speak i tell you i sense a strong angelic presence here please help me who's on the drums someone help me there please. listen let me tell you something please sit down you see this man standing before you by the privilege of god's grace I want you to understand that every time I stand to minister, sometimes it's really good for people to find out how God helped us to journey with him to this level. Because sometimes, in as much as the emphasis should be on Jesus, it is important sometimes for people to understand that that spiritual antecedents it helps you to really appreciate from whence the courage the audacity and the power comes from i have spent my life searching seeking pressing learning growing building searching for something divine and true tired of christianity without power explanations here and there giving all kinds of flimsy excuses i believe in the gospel of power i really believe in the power of the holy spirit not just falling down that an individual can become an effulgence of heaven you can become an extension of a reality that is greater than this realm i believe this i believe that humans after their encounter with the holy spirit and the anointing of the spirit upon their lives that they change they no longer become ordinary i truly believe this in my life god has brought me to the realm of encounters i know what encounters are angelic encounters divine encounters i have received all kinds of impartations spiritually and physically i've shared some of my experiences with you i withheld some of these experiences is there anyone who's sitting on the please help him man eh? just help me with the symbol you guys have to be spiritual just help them so that they can discern what to do these things you see all these instruments of worship and these sounds they are not just instruments they are languages Bible says to place him upon the ten stringed instrument. It says I will reveal my dark sayings upon the harp. Hallelujah. I 
have encountered graces I have pursued mantles I have honored my way into anointings I am a product of many of them believe me when I tell you this many of them that you can become an extension of the life and the power of heaven you cannot do ministry otherwise ladies and gentlemen except it is not God you desire to represent the weightiness of that glory that Shekinah must tabernacle upon you that when you move you carry with you a cloud of glory that is feelable and palpable that anyone who sits under the influence of that meeting they may not even know what is happening to them like some of you now why am i shaking why is my body hot why is it cold what is happening to me it's an exposure it's a realm of reality this is what i'm introducing you to tonight the power of god is a reality you cannot be a blessing without the power of God. You cannot lift men without the power of God. You cannot change lives without the power of God. You cannot save sinners without the power of God. You cannot transform destinies without the power of God. Say unto God, it says, how terrible art thou in your ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves to you. help them please I believe tonight in this place help this woman please oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Listen to me Please hear me Every spiritual gift in scripture was given for the edification of the saints Every anointing and every mantle and every grace you see here is for the equipping of believers so that we will become matured and we will become powerful for everyone that seeketh, find it. Everyone. If you do not find it, it's because you are not seeking it with the kind of desperation. Listen, there is, there is, a, there is a reckless desperation when you really desire to see the power and the glory of God upon your life. It says, oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul longs for you in a dry and a thirsty land to see your power see your glory hear me prophets in Port Harcourt, it's time to arise to be prophets indeed apostles in Port Harcourt, it's time to arise to be apostles indeed pastors teachers kingdom financiers it's time to arise like Gideon I'm blowing that shofar where are the 32,000 that need to arise even at this time because the king's business requires haste. Listen to me. We're about to pray. Do you know every time you reject an opportunity to contend for the power of God, someone's destiny that you are sent to pay is that price. For every day you refuse to manifest, someone is dying, someone is crying someone is losing someone is being defeated hallelujah such glory in this place that lady come i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you help her in the name of Jesus Christ, may that grace come on you. There is an activation of a grace from within your spirit. Let that fire burn until you become a vessel of honor and power and glory. Hallelujah. My 
I had you are exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn I am anointed with fresh oil Shalamanakatamanananamasya don't wait for a prayer point cry out your heart to your maker tonight Lord I'm tired of this level spiritually tired of this level of anointing tired of this level of grace is someone crying everyone that seeketh find it Go ahead and pray and cry. Shada da kata ba kata ba ratos kanda. Embrete ke patus kata brete kata ba ratos. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true. Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true. Lamb of God, I worship you. Emmanuel, all the world is calling. Your name, Emmanuel. When you come again, Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face, Emmanuel. When you come again, Emmanuel. When you come again, Emmanuel, don't be tired. It's called an activate conference. Emmanuel, I enter the holy of holies. I enter through the blood of the Lamb. I enter to worship you only. I enter to honor my name. For your name is holy. You are holy. Holy are you, Lord. So we bow as we enter the throne room and we cast ourselves down at your feet. Oh, for you are holy. Power only, there is none like you. In your presence, that is where I speak. The Dabakato Shalla da Brandega de Katoska de Brahesky. Shanine Paskatila Ashkada Brandege de Paruse Ziatarus. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm upon my holy mountain.
Elogi Madonna Elogi Madonna Elogi Madonna Listen to me. I sense in my spirit that there are people who once walked in certain dimensions, but for whatsoever reason, it looks like you no longer see that grace walking in your life. You used to walk in the prophetic, you used to have dreams before it will happen. What is happening right now is there is a grace for restoration of spiritual gift. I'm stretching my hands now in the name of Jesus is coming like the dew of Hammon. Take that grace now. Take the Akapako Tosh Kapebata. Krete Katina Kaparaka Toshia. Keprentes Katina Kapa. That fire is coming upon you. Let there be a restoration. Prophetic dreams that was giving direction to destinies. May that grace come back again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Healing mantles that used to walk in your life and now it looks like for whatever reason by the mercy of God let it be restored now hallelujah ministers are here I just saw something like a ring and I just saw fire there are three of you, a strong anointing, just where these ministers are. I don't know you, but I stretch my hands right now. Please bring them out. In the name of Jesus, three of you, that fire from heaven is coming. It's an ignition upon your life. Please bring them out. I want to speak to them and pray. Let's do it very fast. Help the man. That's one of them there. Those outside, make sure you are following. Make sure your heart is open. Is this man a pastor? My friend, are you a pastor? Come. It's a new season for you in Jesus' name. You will step into new dimensions of grace in Jesus' name. Take that fire right now. You will never, ever be the same. Help him, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are in ministry. Watch your association. Watch your association. That's what God is saying, I should tell you. Watch your association. In the name of Jesus, that power is coming upon you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus, a new season. That lady wearing yellow, I'm seeing oil coming on her head. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a woman here. You are an intercessor. That's what God called you into. Please, where is that woman? I want to pray for you. We have to be very fast. Help her, help her, help her. My God. Just bring her gently. Is that... Who knows her? She, she's into the ministry of intercession. Because there is something that is coming upon you. And the Lord is shifting you to another season. I stretch my hands right now. Help them, please. Look, the wonder-working power of the Spirit. Mama, you are an intercessor. From, from where? Please help, help this. I'm looking at you. Um, is the mic working? I'm looking at this woman. Mama, God bless you. Where? Can she hear me? Okay. Okay. I'm looking at you. And I'm seeing the face of Baba Adeboye. 
on your face. I'm from Redeem, sir. You are from Redeem. You are from Redeem. Yes, sir. Can I pray for you, man? You can imagine a woman like this. You see the kind of people that we that I was telling you. You will see a woman like this and you will be surprised at the kind of grace for intercession that she carries. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord 